Hello Taurus, welcome to your Jupiter and Scorpio transit for October 2017 to November 2018. So this is going to be affecting anyone that has any Taurus planets in their birth chart. So let's talk about your relationships, Taurus, because this is where this planet is coming to. And how is it that your relationships have definitely helped define you in the past 12 years? Because this is the last time Jupiter was in Scorpio in 2005. A lot of you Tauruses may be experiencing new types of intimate relationships and friendships with other people. Some of you may be leaving you know, marriages or relationships or lovers that um, you feel are no longer for you and you no longer relate because you probably want to expand. You probably want something new and you probably feel like this may not be the right thing for you. Legal matters and negotiations are going to be something that's also going to be in focus for you because you're going to be looking at those partnerships and the partnerships that you've gotten into or that you want to get into. This is going to be a time for you to learn how to negotiate in a relationship about things that you want, things you don't want. It's a real freeing time, I would say, for a lot of you Tauruses out there. You have Saturn moving into your ninth house. So I do think that a lot of you Tauruses are going to be looking at things differently on a mental level. Because you've learned so much about yourself with this transit of Jupiter and Libra and the, the things that you're doing every day, your habits and realizing, okay, I might want to change certain things about me and maybe my partnerships are a reason for that as well. Um, so there could be some legal issues that you're looking at or just wanting to probably be more grounded and stable mentally in the decisions that you're making. You're going to have a transit of Uranus moving into your first house on May 2018. That's going to be really shaking up things for a lot of you Tauruses because this can have you having a, a whole new outlook on yourself, on your identity, your perception of the world, how you view other people in relationships. It may be attracting a lot of other different types of energy people that you've never probably even dealt with or learning things that you've never even learned or didn't expect to with this Uranus transit, you are going to be looking at yourself very, very differently by May of next year. And the relationships that you form where people are going to be one of the one of the big issues and one of the big factors that weighs in on that. There can be also a really big need for freedom with this transit for some of you Taurus is freeing yourself from a lot of obligations to other people. Um, if you're feeling like other people have weighed you down in relationships, marriages, um, this can be a time for you to free yourself and just go somewhere or do something that's very out of the norm or out of the regular for you. It's not um, a time for you to be inhibited right now, Taurus. And I know your Venetian rule, then you like to attract things. But if things are happening, if your relationships are talking in a certain way, whether it's your business alliances, whether it's your friendships, or whether it's your personal intimate relationships that you're having, if they're talking and they're not really, the music is not on the right vibe for you, this might be a time for you to really look at letting things go and concentrating more on something that's more efficient for you, more, more your speed or more of what you want from, from it and not what the other person wants from it. It's really going to be shifting the focus on your partnerships and the people that you're in relationships with. I would like to also say for a lot of Tauruses, you know, you have been going through so much for the past eight years, really finding out a lot of different things about things that are in the subconscious and and learning about things about yourself. And this is really going to shift that. You're going to get a lot more proud or you might get a lot more joyful in your approach to a lot of different things with Jupiter moving into your seventh house. It is going to attract a lot of different opportunities for you to meet people. So I would say for you, Tauruses, to be open. Be open to relationships that are different. 
be open to something that is not regularly maybe something you would go for as long as you feel some type of groundedness in yourself with this because there is going to be a change for you Tauruses and I would definitely say not to fight it to go along with those and to negotiate your way through things if you feel like you're not getting the the fair end of the deal with something as well so I hope you Tauruses enjoy this Jupiter and Scorpio transit and thank you guys to schedule a private consultation with me Email me at akilaastrology at gmail.com. I'm going to leave that email in the description box below, as well as the link to my new SoundCloud page called Pluto's Mic, where I'll be talking about uh, astrology, the metaphysical, the occult. And you can contact me as well on my Instagram page. You can send me a direct message if you are interested in a reading. I hope you guys enjoy your Jupiter and Scorpio transit.